Hello everyone, uh, myself uh, Pradeep Madhivanan. I have a bachelor's in mechanical engineering and master's in advanced manufacturing engineering and management. I do have uh, three years of work experience with uh, Tata Consultancy Services as a systems engineer, handling engineering and industrial service uh, projects, uh, predominantly in automotive and uh, healthcare sector. I'm currently pursuing a design master's program in scaling. I've completed uh, five modules uh, till now. I'm just into the penultimate module. Uh, this is my short introduction. I've done uh, 12 projects uh, so far in uh, Design Master's program. Currently, I'm doing uh, automotive benchmarking under uh, BAW Fixtures uh, Design Using Linux uh, module. This was a project that was developed from the scratch. So electric street sweeper, uh, as a developing country like India, we are thriving towards uh, smart waste management. And uh, we know that we are uh, lacking some of the manpower in, uh, in, in attaining perfection in this. So that is where the purpose uh, started. So I, I uh, started my ideation. I developed some of the rough sketches and uh, got inspired from, from some of the established models in the European market and in the uh, markets of how street uh, sweeping uh, devices are being handled in uh, base management. Then I uh, developed basic sketch using that and then uh, started working on SOLIDWORKS. Before that, I've uh, developed my uh, blueprint, which is uh, something uh, which I conceptualized it. All the di dimensions, I've uh, uh, made it uh, based on my uh, assumptions. And then I started working on the uh, solid uh, uh, solid modeling workbench in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, developed uh, the parts and then uh, worked on through the assembly and uh, uh, finally uh, uh, presenting it and uh, re rendering those models and uh, doing the final presentation in the uh, 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 with the evaluators. Uh, I, I felt a bit confident after that project that uh, uh, I'm able to uh, do something from the uh, scratch. Like these softwares are just a tool to communicate and uh, you need some uh, knowledge to develop and you need to know the purpose what you are uh, developing. So design is something like uh, it always ends at a customer so you should know the purpose. So this is the st uh, be beginning of the project which is the ideation where I get the uh, purpose of the and the idea for doing this project. So this is one of the established uh, model uh, uh, just being in uh, uh, European market for uh, deploying uh, for cleaning the waste management in the streets and this is completely electric model and uh, this was one of the predecessor in developing uh, this uh, model and uh, yeah based on that I've, uh, I've uh, uh, worked on the working models and uh, and develop the geometrical dimensions in uh, Photoshop and then uh, decided the uh, parts that are going to be involved in this uh, project and based on that all those individual parts were uh, sketched and modeled in the uh, solid modeling and uh, surface modeling features in SOLIDWORKS. So these were the different parts that are being involved in uh, in the model. So these were like, uh, so basically it is like a, a overhang uh, uh, ch model where uh, a chassis, a separate chassis was developed and then an electrical engine was uh, uh, ideal, uh, idealized. Basically the concept behind is like uh, uh, you, uh, this is since we are deploying it in waste management so it should not add uh, another uh, uh, carbon trace so that is why I went with uh, electric modeling. So I went with uh, research uh, uh, more about uh, how an electric model uh, car or a vehicle works. Based on that, I've developed my own design in SOLIDWORKS. Uh, so I've understood that uh, for a successful uh, electric uh, vehicle or a prime mover, requires uh, induction motor and uh, also a, a battery module and an inverter to convert the DC power into uh, AC work for the wheels and drives. So based on that, the models were devised and then uh, based on that, all those uh, designs were done in the SOLIDWORKS. So this is done. This is the uh, uh, electrical unit of it. And then uh, the uh, basic uh, vehicle models, that is the cabin structure and the, uh, uh, the basic cabin structure and the wheels, the cabin interiors uh, for the electric street sweeper. Uh, so this is uh, basically the parts that are involved in the vehicle. So these are the parts. 
so this is the rear cabin part where all the waste will be dumped in this and then uh, it, will, it can be skipped uh, to the garbage unit when it is uh, full and this is this these uh, models uh, I've designed it through a hydraulic cylinder so it can be operated by a hydraulic cylinder so this is the uh, main part of it which is the sweeping unit where uh, it performs all the sweeping operations so the basic idea is to have a perfect maneuverability like uh, to uh, have good access in different areas while uh, cleaning so i've uh, in this model i've uh, pro provided two different arms at the front of the vehicle where it provides the uh, sweeping part so it actually uh, it, ha it has a vacuum observer which uh, sucks the garbage based on that this is the final and complete mo assembled model of the in the solid works so from this uh, i've taken it on to rendering where uh, you do the uh, model uh, uh, while presenting it for, for the presentation so uh, this is the final rendered image uh, where you can uh, uh, visualize where you can simulate all those uh, designs that have uh, that you have done in the software you can uh, give some uh, realistic environment background where you can set the product and you can visualize it how it will be going to be like envision those uh, products how it's going to be in the market so rendering is one of the productive platform in uh, solidworks and uh, solidworks visualize is one of the software that handles uh, uh, the rendering uh, the rendering works so based on that i've done the rendering so I've also done the simulations uh, basically to uh, uh, give an idea of the different parts that are being involved because uh, electrical street sweeper in a real life uh, involves a lot of, lot of parts. So these parts are to be, uh, when, our, when we are showing it presentation to an evaluator, so we need to uh, explain it in a proactive manner. So I've just done, done some simulations to uh, to just uh, give a holistic view of uh, different parts being involved in this model. So this is the complete uh, uh, working model and the report on uh, Street Sweeper. Yeah, I've uh, done some uh, initial literature uh, study uh, first uh, and completely worked on uh, uh, solid uh, in the uh, modeling perspective. So in future scope, uh, the mod this model can be developed and it can be uh, deployed with uh, more uh, automotive life design life cycle uh, uh, works so that uh, it can uh, in future it, this can be developed into a, a, a complete working model. Uh, Skilllink actually uh, made me complete in uh, different uh, sectors. Even though I had uh, bits and pieces of information on uh, designing in uh, CAD development, uh, but uh, Skilllink actually the challenges and the projects that were involved even after uh, watching all those uh, videos and information given through Skilllink will actually test your uh, pragmatic knowledge of how to work on uh, models and uh, it also develops your hands-on uh, techniques so all those uh, models are uh, uh, some of them are in, uh, involved in uh, real uh, industrial environments so this will uh, this really tested my uh, uh, knowledge actually and the challenges were uh, really uh, uh, skillful so it requires a lot of uh, practice uh, and uh, perfection so it uh, it gave me a perfect rhythm and uh, gave me confidence to uh, believe uh, that I can uh, uh, work from work on different uh, models and also uh, like uh, being an experienced professional uh, working with some of the projects. Uh, even before I was registering, uh, like if you would have asked, and I didn't have uh, complete control over this uh, this designing skills. And uh, I think uh, Skilllink has developed much more in that. Uh, the challenges. When, you, when when I was doing the challenges, I was not uh, isolated because uh, the support engineers were uh, really helpful and uh, they were uh, really collaborative in uh, giving uh, ideas uh, where I'm not being isolated and if, if I do have any doubts, I would definitely reach out to the support engineer to uh, get it clarified so that uh, I might not uh, do the mistakes again and uh, and also uh, Skilllink uh, actually provided a better platform to do my mistakes and to learn from it which is really useful and also uh, I think I would say as uh, they actually uh, uh, personified my uh, professionalism a bit more. I just want to give a, a short intro that uh, 
uh, knowledge is always ultimate so uh, as a professional you have to always update your uh, skills or else you will get vanished and uh, uh, there is there is nothing called uh, uh, like uh, like a standard or a stableness so if you are uh, if if we are uh, getting standardized or if you are getting comfort in some stages then we are uh, being stagnant and we are not getting developed learning and development is one of the key factor in uh, enhanced in different uh, technologies and also to develop professionally and this will really uh, enhance our uh, uh, learning skills and uh, we can uh, strive our excellence in different uh, sectors so i think uh, in this uh, unprecedented uh, situation uh, the skill link actually uh, boosted my confidence like uh, and also it has this is completely my point of view that uh, it kept my mind occupied even these 4 to 5 very hard months uh, it it kept my mind occupied in something else so that uh, i'm i learned something really good so that i can uh, deploy that in the market where i'm really productive in the, uh, for an organization so in that way uh, learning and development is always uh, helpful and uh, i thank skilling for uh, helping me out in uh, in getting myself more complete towards the uh, profession